So, uh, hi. How are you doing? Ah, I've been a while, haven't I? Been, uh, I've been busy. I've been really busy um, sleeping until 12, maybe sometimes 1 in the afternoon and, um, and playing Portal. But um, this video has been a long time coming. Um, before I was sleeping until 1 and playing Portal, I was, uh, what was I doing? Studying for exams. Yeah. Year 12 exams. So I've finished school now, which is an interesting development. Never actually thought that would happen for some reason. I mean, I thought it would happen, but then at the end there I was kind of not sure. I was kind of like, eh, I'll just come back next year. But, uh, glad I didn't, um, stop doing it, because I don't want to do another year of school. That just sounds horribly painful. And, um, who, who can be fucked with that, really? I mean, year 12 the first time through is horrible. Who wants to go back a second time and be like, hey, let's do it again? No one. No one wants to, is the answer. Sentimentality is an interesting one. Um, it's great. It's great sometimes. I mean, you know, it it forces you to do things that you never would have really thought about doing before, like keeping all your old textbooks. I don't know if you can see them. I've got all my old textbooks. I mean, they're, they're good, and you can get money for them. But I'll probably need them next year anyway at uni. So, um... Yeah, but it can be, it can be good. You keep important things like friends and and you and you go and you go and visit your old teachers and say goodbyes and it can be a real treasure to be sentimental sometimes and then other times you get sentimental and you decide to throw a graduation party and then invite everyone just to maintain the friendship but then you get to the party and you end up in a room with a bunch of dickheads that you never actually liked and you were never actually friends with. So, moral of the story is stay in school and don't get sentimental, I think is where I'm going with that 